like to see it. Thank you very much for all the comments and uh, just all the likes and the subscriptions. Thank you very much, everybody. Fantastic. Right, you find me here this morning, though, going to be doing a job that I hate. It's got to be done, though. It's the uh, restringing of the guitar. Now, I restrung it just recently, but I didn't like the strings that I put on it. They were very clacky and they were kind of short. I don't know. I just didn't like this, the style of the man. It just didn't seem to suit the guitar. So... We've got, uh, we had a bit of headstock trouble as well, a bit of a machine head problem with this one here. As you can see, the machine heads have all sort of been changed. They've got different sort of ones on. Uh, and when you start doing that, then that's, you know, the balance of the guitar and the neck sort of starts getting funny. Anyway, um, I'm going to give the neck a bit of a quick clean with some of this uh, Dunlop 65 stuff that uh, Frankie gave me yesterday. Fantastic. So a couple of pumps of that, and we'll give that just a bit of a clean. I'm going to go too, I'm going to go too, uh, too into it, just because it it's not actually, I, you know, I don't play my guitar enough to make it a dirty guitar. That's, that's the thing. So uh, we'll, give, we'll do that right now. Thank you, Frankie, for that. Right, well, that made a, a great uh, difference on the guitar. Wow, look at this. It's all shiny down the fretboard now. And up here, there was a, a, a mark on here. with like a sticker when you peel off a sticker mark. I think a price had been there or something. So that that's that been there for it's been there for twenty five years. It's now gone, and the uh, the neck, yeah, what a difference in the neck, man! It looks nice and sort of dark brown now. That's that's amazing. What a, what a difference in the uh, in that? That's amazing. There's a couple of sprays of that. Right here we go though. Let's get this done. Let's get this strung up. I've got my normal strings. Uh, these ones here that I normally get the Adagio ones. These are the ones that I like the best. So. Here we go, let's do it. This will take about half an hour. Right, I've restrung two strings on the guitar and I've decided to come down here to grab a cup of char, have a bit of a brew. Right, here we go. Now, I got myself yolks in our tea bags again yesterday because it run out and uh, what a difference in a in cup of tea, man. I must say, hang on, I'll get that off. Um, I've been drinking Yorkshire tea for a couple of weeks now and I ran out, so I had to have a couple of uh, Tetley tea. And oh my goodness me, it was so bland in comparison to this uh, Yorkshire tea, which I can't get open. Well, how do you open this? All right, where's the open bit? I can't find the, the starting bit on the... Oh, this. Well, just have to do it that way, I suppose. There we go. Right. Yeah, so Yorkshire tea for me is the, uh, the one with a good blend. Rosie said when she had it, she said it was far too strong. But I just find it's a nice flavour. I like a good strong sweet cup of tea, man, I must admit. So, right, let's get the cup back on here. Right, for all you fans out there, off. Have you met my mate Stanley? He's here and he's cutting the uh, things open. He's got a nice new sharp blade on him, so he's, he's doing really well today. So there he is. Old Stan. I've had Stanley for ages and ages, man. Gotta be really careful these things. These things are absolutely lethal, these Stanley knives, man. But uh, it was in a film, uh, The Football Factory, where they, they kicked out the bus and the, the Liverpool fans are all st sort of standing around. They go, have you met my mate Stanley? And he pulls out a Stanley knife and do. So that's where I get it from. Have you met my mate Stanley? So for all you fans out there, Stanley is here. Shouldn't be advocating knives. So no, we don't advocate knives. I'm just showing you uh, my Stanley knife. And I only use it for opening uh, envelopes and things. So it's really good for that. that that's all I use it for, folks. Thank you. Actually, right, here's a little tip for the uh, for, for ukulele players who have to string up the, the ukes and put the, the string through the bottom and you need a little eyelet to tie on to the string and so that stops you going through the hole. Um, just to have a, a couple of spare eyelets, why not chop the bottom off your old strings? Chop them off and you can have um, a, a few spare of these little eyelets kicking about. Where's my... I need to get my... The old strings, where are they? Yeah, look. Here's some small ones. So what you do is just get your pair of pliers and just chop them off. It's harder than than it looks. Yeah, there you go. Look, so it's come off. 
and there you have a couple of spare eyelets. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that, can you? Yeah, there it is. That'll, that'll do nicely. Just keep that as a spare. Get another one. There we go. Oops, crikey. All right, so there's a couple just to keep them as spares just in case. Put them in the drawer up here. There we go. Perfect. So there's your ook tip of the day. Thank you. Last string. Right, folks, that's me restrung the guitar. Um, and I must admit, after playing the ukulele for the last six weeks, because the guitar's been out of action, it feels like playing a plank of wood, man, I must admit. <laughs> feels funny. And trying to get the chords right as well. Because the D is the same as a G on a, on a ook. Uh, they make new strings you've got to let them settle in and these ones actually settle in quite nicely because normally they detune themselves and I've got, I've got myself I've got the uh, the capo as well which I could use so say I want to play something in G so rather than using a bar chord G just put that there <laughs> sound very good does it but um that's because they're not in tune so that's a job done excellent nice one with a dodgy machine here but i think it might be okay This feel weird. Crazy about everything about you, so show me some more. When they got home from the pub, you know you wanted to fuck on the floor, so show me more about the. Show me more about you, I'm crazy about you, I'm, I'm absolutely crazy about you A chord mischanging there somewhere. No All right, folks, here we go. We're going to the shops. I need to go and get some uh, chicken. I'm cooking chicken fricassee tonight. So I need to, I, I forgot to get chicken yesterday. So after me being in two shops, I forgot to get the chicken. Well, I, I knew I had chicken in the freezer, but I haven't taken it out in time to defrost it. So I need to go and buy chicken. And I need some sour cream and some rice. So I'm just going to nip down to Tesco's in Monty Feast and get it there. Just down to speak to the neighbour. Keith for, for a little while there. So hello Keith, I know you watch these videos sometimes, you watch some of them. So hello, and uh, if you are watching this video. Right, I was stuck in a traffic jam here, the road works. I, honestly, it's in Dundee these days, man. It's just a nightmare. You get blocked off all over the place now. It's just road works everywhere, it seems to be in Dundee now. And there's two lots here. There's the one back at the garage and another one just down here. So hopefully I'll get through here. Well, that's a nightmare. I should have just gone to Hasta. Right, folks, I've just done the first bit of music I've done for ages and ages, and I'm sounding like the dandy bloody Warhols. Down, down, down. Do, 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 do. Yeah, right, I'm the dandy bloody Warhols, mate. Um, now, here's the thing, right? You know how when they, they play a soft jazz? A soft jazz thing. What's happened to the strap here, man? Hang on, they're all tangled up, right? Let's just put this on here. Yeah, you know how they have nice 
when they play a jazz thing, a nice soft thing. Well, how's this for a nice sort of soft ukulele sound when we play with a toothbrush? Also cleans your fretboard as well, I suppose. <laughs> so there you go. Have you met my mate Stanley? Have you? Oh, sorry, that's right. <laughs>